Welcome to another DIY video. Today we're going to lift up this carpet and see what the floorboards are like and give it a sand down and then re reseal it. It might take a few days though, so let's see how it goes. Well, the carpet has come up quite easily, but this hardboard is a little bit more hassle to get up. It keeps breaking up all the time. This is a right mess. I'd better clean this up. I need to sort out this carpet strip, as it could be quite lethal leaving it like that. I'll order a new one. I'll see if I can match it in with the other carpet edgings I've got on the other doorways. Okay, if you've got to get gripper rods up, definitely get one of these. It's a utility bar, it's just like a little crowbar type thing, and it's so much quicker and easier. Now I need to make sure there's no nails left in the boards. I'm going to scrape away some of this paint and plaster as it will be much easier to do it now because otherwise it will just clog up my sander. This little crowbar works really well for getting up the nails. And then all I'm doing is running the crowbar over the top of the boards and you can feel where the nails are. These floorboard nails are just sticking up. I'll see if I can whack them down a little bit further. Great, that's all the nails up. And now it's ready for sanding. The only problem is there's quite big gaps in the floorboards. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do with these gaps. Okay, that's the floor all ready for sanding. I'm just gonna use a belt sander and go over it fairly roughly and then I'm going to fill the gaps with these. They're called slithers and they just go into the gaps. I'll glue them and then tap them in, but I'll do that last thing. But I'll just sand it down briefly so that actually it will then stick over okay overnight. I used these next door in my bathroom and they work really well. This is my belt sander. I'm gonna use a really rough grade, so this is a a P40 grade. I've made sure I've got the window open and I'm going to be wearing ear protection and a mask. I'm using a 950 watt belt sander, so it may take some time. I was going to hire a floor sander, but then because this is such a small room, I bought a belt sander for a little bit more money than I would have had to pay to hire a sander. But now, I've got a sander that I can use for other jobs. It's come up quite well already. I could just leave it like this. It's a bit of an industrial patina look. I just need to sand a little bit further over here. And then I need to work out what I'm going to do with the fire hearth that I've uncovered. Okay, these are the slithers that just go in the gaps. I hope I've got enough. I'm going to lay them out just to see and make sure I've got enough. They go in the gaps just like that. Glue them in and then tap them down. Let them set overnight. They've got quite a few. Hopefully be enough. Make sure I've got enough. If I've got enough, I'll do the ends as well. Okay, just put glue on these.
just going to wipe away all the excess glue and then I'll leave this to dry overnight. I've left it overnight and it looks quite good already. Now I'm just going to plane the slivers down. I'm using a plane but you could saw these off or use a chisel. I'm using my chisel just to get the bits down near the wall and then I'll be able to get my sander in there. Great, they're all planed down now. Now it's time for some more sanding just to get it all nice and flat and level. I'm going to go over this with a P40 grit so it's a very rough sandpaper. Belt's got arrows so you can see which way it goes on to the sander. Oh, it's a little bit dusty, it's really bad. It's hard work, I'm uh, breathing in dust. I think I need an industrial uh, face mask. But anyway, it's coming on. It's really quite good now. I'm just going to use my small orbital sander with a rough grit just to get underneath the radiator there. And I'll go around the edges with it as well. I'll get a soft brush and just get all the dust up, make sure it's nice and smooth, run my fingers over it to make sure it's nice and smooth. Where I can't get the sander underneath the radiator, I'll just use a chisel just to get all the paint off. You can see the paint on the floorboards and now it's all gone. It's looking pretty good now. I'm running my fingers over the boards just to make sure there's no rough edges. Okay, now it's all nice and smooth, or got rid of the sharp edges. I'm just gonna make it even smoother and just go over really quickly with a P120 grade sandpaper on my belt sander. Tracking on the belt sander is really easily adjusted just by turning this little knob here on the side. That's all done now. It's nice and smooth. I've run out of slithers just here, so there's a gap in these floorboards, but you don't really notice it on the side boards here. Now I'm going to go over it with a soft brush and brush up any excess sawdust, and then I'll give it a mop over with some warm water. I've gone over it with a damp mop and you can see it looks quite good. This is probably what it's going to look like once I've sealed it. I just need to work out what I'm going to do with this hearth here. It's drying out quite quickly. I've washed the floor with warm water and then now I'm going to seal it. I'm going to seal it with rustic oil. This goes on fairly easily and I'll need to do two coats. just let this dry out now. It's now the next day and it's all dried out. I've just fitted this carpet strip and I'll peel away this protective film. Great, that looks quite good. At least I won't catch my feet on it. And it finishes off the carpet area quite nicely. There's a bit of a step down from the carpet onto the floorboards. 
It matches in with all the other ones that I've got in the other doorways. I've painted this hearth area black. I've used black floor paint. I've also replaced the white sockets. Well, that's all done. It looks quite good now. I've also painted the ceiling rose and got a black lampshade just to tie in with the rest of the theme. It makes the boxes look quite good as well. The black hearth here doesn't look too bad. I was worried in case it would stand out like a sore thumb. It's all going to be covered up anyway by the desk that's going to be here. Right now to put the room back together. guitars up on the wall so they're all out of the way and easily accessible. I'll show you how I did that in another video. That's another job done. Now I can have a little sit down. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.